Hi guys, DJ Mark Armand back again, this time using this machine device or control surface and I want to go through a short video, it's not going to be in depth, I just want to show you my method of how I get sounds from here into Ableton Live. Why? Well, because Ableton Live I've used since version 5, I'm very acquainted with using all of its features. I've only had machine for literally five or six weeks now, so I'm still getting to grips with it. And one of the things I just can't get my head around is the software machine. I can't get around the scene, the pattern, and how that all goes together. And the software I find quite cumbersome, but maybe that's just me being you. I'm sure you experienced machine users will be jumping down the screen now and saying it's very easy to understand but I just feel comfortable in doing my arrangements in Ableton Live. So why am I using this? Well the great thing I love about this is that you can create your ideas very quickly. If something comes to you you can just bash away on the pads and you've got some great sounds. In other words instead of using pre-made loops that you can purchase you can buy uh, these music group packs for a machine that come with all the instruments and they've had their effects added already. So I've got a particular kit loaded at the moment, sorry I should say group because that's what it is, that when I hit any of these keys you can hear an array of instruments. Now what I want to do is to put down a few ideas. Now, those of you that have seen my previous videos will know that I know absolutely nothing about music, apart from playing records in a DJing environment for many, many years. I know nothing about chords or what key it's in or anything like that. I've, I can't sing, I can't play an instrument. So I'm at a bit of a disadvantage to begin with. But what I like about this is that I can start it recording and just bash a few pads to get some ideas down, a bass line, uh, a drum pattern, things like that. And then once I've got those down, I want to transfer these into Ableton Live. Now the problem is, I did do some searching on YouTube and I found that some people use machine as a plugin in Ableton. It all sounded very complicated to me and the settings and the outputs you had to set up. What I wanted is the easiest method of getting sounds from here into Ableton. Um, this is my method, it's probably not the best, but it works for me. Remember, I'm only using this to lay down some ideas, so I'm not going to do any multiple tracking on here, it's just going to lay down some ideas. So I've been having a little fiddle, and I quite like those. Uh, I've set the BPM to 128, but I can change that afterwards, but 128, and I'm going to start recording, and I'm actually going to create uh, one pattern which is uh, four bars long, okay, uh, so that'll do me. Now my timing might not be totally on, but I can tidy that up afterwards. So let's start recording my first sound, here we go. So that's the first keys laid down. I'm going to stay on the same pattern. So I'm actually going to change a pattern. When you're dealing with just machine, you normally duplicate and add a new pattern and create multiple patterns. Every one of my ideas is just going to be laid down on the same pattern. So maybe a kick now to add a bit of a punch to the sound. So here we go again, record this. There we have the uh, kick. I'm now going to add a closed hat. So, see if I can get this on time. I'm still leaving it recording. So, we'll stop that. So at this point I've laid down um, four sounds, the two K 
key sounds, a kick and a hi-hat. We'll add a little bit more, some hand claps and some other effects. Oh, we want a bass line as well, so we'll add a bass line as well. So let's start again, same pattern. Now the great thing I love about Machine is the fact that a lot of these packs of sounds you buy, they come in a group, have all their effects already applied, which they sound great. They also have the capability of playing chords. And because I know nothing about chords, I know that you spread your fingers out on a keyboard when you're hitting more than one and it becomes a chord. Apart from that, I don't really understand them and the key. I just do everything by ear and when it sounds right, I think I'm on the right pitch and right key. So just on here, I want to add a bass line. Now the great thing about Machine is that if I play a bass sound on this one, what I can do is make all of the pads, the 16 pads, into a bass. So taking that key, that pad that I just hit, it then spreads it across the 16 pads. And so I can play that. So I'm going to lay down a bass line as well on this track. Just a very simple one. Here we go. So that's what I'm going to do. I could go on and on laying down more tracks and even go into a different group and add another pattern on that group and add some more sounds. Remember, all I'm doing, I'm not worried about the volume being exactly on time. As long as I've got my ideas that just come to me, I can bash those out on the pads very quickly. Now I've got that, I now need to transfer them onto Ableton. Now I've tried all the various exports and everything like that, but this is my favourite method that I find useful. So what I'm going to do is to turn my attention to here. Now you can see the pattern that I've built up here. Now this is a trick. If you have a look over in the right of this pattern layout, you'll see it tells you how long your pattern is, four. And then it's got these two buttons here. One of these is for drag and drop MIDI, and the other one is to drag and drop audio. Now you can drag these onto the desktop or into a folder, or you can drag it directly into the program you want to use it in, in this case, Ableton Live. Now on this particular video, I'm just going to show you how to drag audio. Remember, I'm just using the ideas into audio, into Ableton, that I can lay out in arrangement view and add effects and whatever I need to do. If you want to do MIDI, you want to be more creative and you think, well, I want to actually drag the keys from the chord that I created in here that was done for me, and I want to play around with it a little bit in Ableton, then you can drag and drop that, and I'll show you a few ways of doing that. The thing to remember is when you drag MIDI, the audio WAV file does not come with you, so you have to save that and bring it, bring that in separately. Now on the left hand side of the screen you see is our composition that we created very quickly in less than five minutes in Machine. On the right you'll see is the Ableton Live in Arrangement View. Now I need to drag and drop these into here. Now this is the, the trick. If I grab hold of this button here to drag and drop audio, what will happen is it will drag the whole pattern in, into one file. It's almost like me exporting or saving this whole song as a WAV file and bringing it into Ableton. It will have everything all in one file, which is not what I want. I want the individual instruments that I've played. Now the way you do this is, if you have a look here, 
I'm going to choose each one of these. For example, the kick. I'm going to solo that. Now, the way that you solo this is with your mouse button, you can right-click on the number of the sound. Now, the kick low is on number one. If I right-click, you can probably see that all the other tracks in here, or sounds in the group, have greyed out. And this one is now active. If I now drag this, I'm going to grab hold of it with my mouse, and as I move out of here, I can drop it into Ableton. And there is my kick web file. I can do the same with the others. Remember we had the snare. And also the um, clap. So I did the clap and the snare at the same time. Now, if I want to drag each one individually, then I solo just the snare and drag that. If I want both of those to go together, I've got no intention of doing any effects on the snare or the clap individually. I want to keep them as one. Then what I can do is to solo both of those. And what I've done there is hold the control key down and click on the number six, which happens to be the clap. I've now got the snare and the clap selected. Now I drag this same button again, grab hold of it with my left mouse button and drag it out of the window and into Ableton. And there it is there. I then want to do the closed hi-hat. So I'm going to right click on the number three to make that track active. Drag and drop this. Now I'm going to carry on doing this and we'll come back when I've done all of this. So what I've done is completed dragging and dropping those individual sounds in that pattern across from machine into Ableton arrangement. And you can see what we've got here. So let me just bring this to the front. Now there you can see are the sounds that I brought in. And I think that's all of them. So this one is the kick. So let's just have a quick run. Now, I'm going to do this in just a few seconds because the whole purpose of this video was to demonstrate how I get my ideas from here into Ableton in the quickest way possible. So, um, there's my drum, which I can just stretch to loop. I have no timing issues as well. I've changed this to 128, but because all of these are warped in Ableton, I can change the speed after the event. Uh, there's my two keys, and maybe if I start with that, and then this one is the hi-hat, so we'll have that one come in halfway through. Uh, again, not doing any lining up properly, just need to get these in just so you can see exactly what it does. This is the hand claps, so we'll bring that in as well about there, and then maybe the bass, a little bit further down so and that finalizes this demonstration and what I've done I've in less than two minutes just quickly stretched out the tracks cut them lined them up and I haven't done anything with the EQs the volumes that all needs to be done but I feel a lot more comfortable working in arrangement viewing Ableton than I do with machine software but hopefully that give you guys some ideas Maybe you, like me, are new to machine, can't get used to the scenes or the patterns and the software in general. So you prefer to use a product such as Ableton or one of the other software applications out there, FL Studio, Logic, and you just want to drag and drop these sounds in. So to finish off, leave you with just the 30 seconds of this to see how it sounds. And uh, I'll catch you again in future when I'll be showing you how to bring MIDI from here very quickly into here and also learning this because it is a learning curve for me I'm totally new to this so till next time enjoy mm -hmm.